hello and welcome to this video lecture today we will see some recurrences so let's consider a very simple algorithm and then we will try to analyze this algorithm and find its running time using a recurrence so so let's say we have an algo and we call this algorithm factorial algorithm this factorial algorithm takes some input <coughs> and uh, the input of this algorithm is an integer okay. so it takes an integer number n which we assume is is greater than or equal to one so it is at least one the output of this algorithm is the factorial it is the factorial of the given input n. So the algo is very simple. It has just two lines. The line number one checks what is the value of n. If the value of n is equal to one, it just returns uh, it just returns one it's because we know that one factorial is equal to one. In the else part, if this line does not execute, if it does, this algorithm does not come at this return part. Uh, it will go to line number two and in line number two we just say return whatever that is the value of n times factorial of n minus one so this is a very simple algorithm that computes the factorial so which is actually equivalent to the mathematical definition of factorial uh, suppose we have some integer number n then mathematically def uh, we mathematically we define n factorial as uh, n times n minus 1 n minus 2 times 1 with with the case that one factorial is equal to 1 this is um, this is a repeated multiplication definition we can redefine this factorial as a recursive one and we say that recursively n factorial is defined as uh, n times n minus 1 factorial with the base case or initial condition as 1 factorial is equal to 1. So this definition of factorial is the direct translation of this algorithm or vice versa. So we can compute the factorial using this recursive definition. So now we need to find out what is the time complexity of this algorithm. Okay? So we would compute the time complexity of this algorithm as Tn. So imagine Tn is the expression which captures the time of this algorithm for the given input n. We know that when n, when n is equal to 1, this time is trivial, right? This algorithm does not make any uh, major steps. It does not go into recursion. It does, not, it does not have any loops. So when n equal to 1, we know that line number 1 is executed and it checks with whether n equal to 1 and if it is, then it returns 1. So t of 1 must be equal to 1 or in other words, we say that t of n is equal to 1 for n equal to 1. So this recursive part is executed only when n is greater than 1. So we need to find out what happens when n is greater than 1. So we, we have to look uh, carefully at this algorithm and we see that if the time of the entire algorithm is Tn, then time of this line which computes the factorial, which, which is actually a recursive call which computes the factorial of a one smaller number must be less than tn if the time for the entire algorithm is tn then time for this line which computes factorial of n minus 1 must be less than tn and in fact it is exactly equal to tn minus 1 so this time is nothing but tn minus 1 so we can clearly see that tn is defined as 1 when n is equal to 1 and otherwise it is defined in terms of tn minus 1 so it is tn minus 1 but it's not that's not it there are other things that we need to uh, consider over here first of all we need to consider one uh, one subtraction we have to consider one multiplication and we need to consider all the bookkeeping that is done while uh, this recursive call is made so we can say that assume all of those are elementary operations so we can capture all of those uh, elementary operation as just one so this is the case when n is greater than 1. So let's try to solve this recursive equation. So we call this a recursive equation. 
So this is recursive equation or a recurrence or a difference equation which are actually counterpart of differential equations in discrete world. So let's try to solve it. So we can solve this recurrence very easily by expanding. So we, we take the general case when n is greater than 1. So we say that when n is greater than 1, uh, our t of n is nothing but t of n minus 1 plus 1. Okay. So we, we, need, we see that we have a functional expression here. So the functional expression here is t, is, t of n is defined in terms of t of n minus 1. So with this functional definition, we can expand it. So if we plug this n minus 1 into this n, we would get t of n minus 2 plus 1 of the formula and plus 1 of the actual one. Okay? And we can clearly see that we need to repeat this process n minus 1 steps till we reach the base case which is the which is t of 1 which is already defined as as, as 1. So we need to repeat the whole process we need to iterate it n minus 1 times. So if we iterate it n minus 1 times we would get to t of n minus n plus 1 and then we would have uh, how many copies we would have. So when it is minus 2 we have 2 copies when it is uh, n minus 1 so we have n minus 1 copies okay but this is nothing but t of 1 and t of 1 is defined already defined as 1 so we have 1 plus 1 plus so we now have n copies of 1 which is nothing but n or in other words it is theta of n so we can clearly see that the running time of this algorithm which is the factorial algorithm if it is computing using recursion is t of n which is equal to theta of n and that is it as a proof. We will look at other recurrences and other different methods uh, in, a, in a separate lecture.